All right, folks, another installment of Project YFZ 450 2006 Special Edition. Um, very happy to finally get this going as far as this video. This is the meat and potatoes of the build and something I've been very interested in pursuing since day one. This is the cylinder, piston, and wrist pin. The original parts over here, this is what came out of the quad. This is the original cylinder. Um, overall, it's a low hour machine. The cylinder is in very good shape. You might be able to see it right there, right down the middle, but that, those scratches right there represent the worst of what happened to this. I think this thing did, in, <clears throat> excuse me, ingest some dirt. Um, overall, the cylinder is in very good condition. Um, besides some scratches there, a little patch of it. Really nothing going on with it as far as uh, issues. Everything else is in very good shape. No leaks or no problems. Um, now, what I've pursued here is something that is uh, something that's not utilized very often when rebuilding these quads or these 450 engines. This is a basically stock compression uh, forged piston made by a company called Wasner. Uh, everybody gets JE, CP, Wysico, Big Bore, Athena, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going after any of that. I wanted to do something that very few people do because uh, I don't have, uh, as far as goals in mind for this project, I don't have the typical goals in mind. I don't have a 14 to 1, you know, a big bore kit. Um, I'm very careful about what I'm selecting here and, and how it's being done. Um, one of the things is, is being a 2006, um, <clears throat> oh, there goes the rings. Anyway, I'll continue. Um, being a 2006, this one has does not have the oil spray nozzle, oil upgrade, if you will. Um, so it just relies on wrist pin lubrication from what comes out of here, what comes out of the holes in the piston, which is minimal, and what splashes up from the rod bearing to lubricate this wrist pin. Now, I purchased a replacement... Um, wrist pin from Yamaha because there's some sort of a coating on here. Uh, I managed to lose the wrist pin. I brought it into work and showed it to some folks I work with, but uh, the factory wrist pin from Yamaha is tapered. It's got a decent thickness to it, um, but it has some type of coating on it, and I don't know what it is. I, I thought maybe it was a nitriding, but nitriding usually doesn't wear off and is not like a um, visible coating like that, so... It's a hardness layer. You can see right there, the two rings are non-contact areas. This right here rides on the rod with no bushing. And these outer ports right here ride inside the, the piston. A lot of people with these YFZ engines will have uh, pin galling issues uh, inside of the pin bore here. Hard, hard to capture in the light here, but there is a little bit of scoring very, very minor, but you can tell um, it's it looks like a, an issue on this piston where there's kind of a lack of lubrication here. Um, it really only relies on the splash from the crank and whatever kind of comes out of these holes that are in the middle of the oil sc scraper rings. So it's really not that impressive as far as lubrication uh, to the small end of the rod. And it also doesn't feature any um, wrist pin with a, a bushing in it, like a bronze bushing, which is very typical of a lot of factory and aftermarket parts. So uh, one of the common things on these engines that people have is, is wrist pin galling. So in an effort to improve the lubrication on the top end, I am, as you know, uh, doing the oil upgrade. And the other um, thing is, is I'm replacing it with an aftermarket piston. And here it is, this is the Wasner. Now I have two of them here for display. This is uh, a Was. These are both identical pistons. These are the Wasner uh, 11. I think it's 11 and a half to one. It's basically the same as the stock YFC. It says in the website, I believe 11 six to one. This is 11 four to one. Um, basically, it's about equivalent to stock. This one here, um, I talked to the Wasner sales director. A uh, really good guy out in Huntington Beach, California, and I had him send it off to WPC. WPC is a Japanese company. I think it stands for Wonder Process Craft. 
Basically, it's a metal surface treatment where they blast it with some type of media, proprietary media, at a very high speed, and they actually reshape the, the surface of the metal, and they are said to add some type of uh, lubricants in there, maybe molly or tin or zinc, something like that. Um, anyway, it's a, it's a friction-reducing metal surface treatment. Um, I've used it on builds before in the past, and I've been very impressed with it. And I also had the wrist pin done as well. You can tell it's got a different, this is the standard pin with a stock untreated one, and this is the WPC pin. Uh, the pins themselves are lighter. Um, I do have a precision scale here, and I, I so far from what I checked briefly the other night, it looks like the Wozner um, is actually going to come in a little bit lighter. The pin is thinner than the factory one, and uh, it's it's narrower. So again, you can see there, this is standard. This is WPC. Um, the the pin itself from WPC um, will be harder to to scuff and to you know score up, if you will. So see, it's pretty tight fitment here. But uh, but yeah, so this is the Wozner piston. Uh, it is uh, a company that basically, besides Weissico, this is the only company that has their own forging house. Um, everybody else outsources their piston forgings from somebody else. So this piston itself is made in Germany. It is a forging. Um, and like I said, pretty much um, stock equivalent compression. But I'm, I'm happy with the fit and finish of it. I don't know anybody that builds these 450s as a Wozner piston. I'm sure they're out there. But um, the factory, you can see the molly coating here. Um, this comes off when they do the WPC, when they blast it. And, and the, the actual, the molly will impregnate itself into the aluminum. Even if you remove this visually, you can see the black molly. It'll be embedded, it'll be in the pores of the metal itself in the aluminum. So, but you can see the raw forging on this one. One of the features that I was looking for when chopping around for these pistons, and I'm going to have to just test it out with this one and see what happens. But one of the features I was looking for was additional wrist pin oiling. So besides the 2007 and up upgrade to, you know, the oil nozzle sprays onto the bottom of the piston and it's supposed to lubricate the wrist pin and the uh, cool the piston down. Um, this one here, you can see these two holes, two holes per side. Those holes go all the way through and when the piston is coming down, obviously a lot quicker than just my quick hand motion here. Um, it will feed oil through here, through these holes, and then they, they mill the hole inside there, you can see, and it's pretty much a straight shot, and it shoots right towards the small end here, and it'll lubricate the pin. It'll spray oil all over the small end of the rod and lubricate the pin. The only other thing they have is they have a couple of relief notches. Sorry, I'm holding it out of the way. A couple of relief notches inside of there, hard to see. Um, that allow oil to get in there. So I think based off some research, I haven't torn a ton of these engines down to be quite honest, but um, wrist pin lubrication is a big one for the YFC. Um, people, you know, they blow up their top ends and they say what happened, um, you know, and you can see pictures of the rods all beat up here. Um, and, or, or I'm sorry, not the rods, but the pistons beat up inside the wrist pin holes here. Oftentimes, it's just the pin and the rod and the piston is broken apart in a million pieces. The factory pistons can crack right down the middle. Um, I think that's maybe a symptom of what happens when the wrist pin starts galling up in here. You know, these things turn some pretty high RPMs and they really need a good amount of lubrication. Um, the other thing that I was really considering doing was aside, um, the, the WPC pin is it's very nice and all, but... Another thing, and, and Yamaha is doing another 2019 dirt bikes, the, what is it, the YZF, YF, YZ250F. Uh, they're doing DLC. DLC is diamond-like carbon. It's a very hard, van, very hard, um, an, you know, anti-galling, uh, slippery coating that's done on the piston pin. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking this piston pin that came with the standard Wozner, and I'm going to be getting a DLC piston pin. And uh, I also want to do that. Um, I'm going to be, I'm a little curious about how this these parts hold up. 
Um, being a, not an extreme build, I don't really suspect that this will wear a lot. But um, I'm kind of curious I, uh, what's better, WPC or DLC. I guess it depends on who you ask. DLC um, or WPC is basically, it should be standard in my opinion. And a lot of that comes from the fact that this pin rides on the rod and it's the raw steel rod. There is no bushing. And what happens is if you're using steel on steel, you tend to get galling. So if you see your wrist pin stuck in the middle of the rod and it does not slide out or you take your motor apart and you're doing a rebuild and overhaul and you can't get your pin out, your pin is galled. And, um, you know, there's some ways out there to combat that. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so I talked to one of my coworkers that does a lot of snowmobile rebuilds and uh, has his own snowmobile shop. And, uh, he's had a lot of these Nicosil cylinders redone. I was going to send this to Millennium in Wisconsin. Um, I don't hear a lot bad about them. He said he's had better luck with power seal in, in uh, Pennsylvania. So what I'm going to be doing is this week, the cylinder and the WPC treated Wasner piston are going to be going out to power seal. And they are going to be making sure that this, uh, I think it needs to be replated on the inside. Uh, I don't think they can hone this. Um, Wasner offers three sizes, the A, B, and C piston size. This is the B size they had in stock. If I wanted the A, which is the standard size, they would have had to wait from Germany for a long time. This one I ordered on eBay. It actually came from Lithuania. Um, it was actually a really attractive price. Uh, I don't see any more on there, but this was like $76, maybe shipped 78, something like that. And this one was about 270 with the WPC treatment on the pin, the piston, uh, shipped from California, Huntington beach, California. They both come with the rings and the, obviously the clips for the piston pin, um, factory piston was otherwise in pretty good shape. Like I said, a little bit of signs of you know, stress inside the pin bores, but the piston otherwise was in pretty good shape. I didn't measure it, but, um, you could see a little bit of evidence of dirt that this engine had ingested because the intake boot had popped off, but, uh, overall not in horrible shape. Same thing with the cylinder. Um, a lot of this, the funding for this project is actually coming from my rework of carburetors. So the next video, um, I have one here. This is the Kian FCR carburetor, and uh, I'm going to be going through this. I have several of these right now. I have about five of them that I'm going through, and I clean them up, refurb them, jet them, um, go through them, uh, you know, soup to nuts, and uh, I sell them, and that's helping fund this project. Uh, I pay a little bit money out of pocket, but uh, by going through carbs and selling various parts on eBay, I managed to fund this project. Um, having a lot of fun with it. Um, I, I do want to get a little bit more in depth with as far as measuring the piston and, and the, the cylinder and finding out where we're at with everything. So when this comes back from power seal, I will be validating the piston, the wall clearance, and I have some Midutoyo digital mics and I'll be miking this and going through it more in depth. The next video will feature going through this carb, um, of all the videos I have right now about the Project YFZ, the carb is the most popular. A lot of people, um, you know, have some issues with them. They sit around for a while or they're having trouble jetting them. So I'm going to be going through the carb in detail. Uh, in the meantime, um, I will have an extra Wasner piston and pin here. Now this is, I guess, low compression or standard compression. So not as many people are attracted to it, but that is fine for me because I like to be able to run pump 93 and never really worry about uh you know having to mix gas or having the engine live a shorter life because i feel like pushing the shit out of it with 13 to 14 to 1 which is pretty common for this type of build but again i i'm sticking with stock style compression and uh that's just what i'm doing so here's the piston part number is for the 2006 and up uh 2004 2005 had a different uh stroke and i think uh compression height of the piston uh part number is 87 84 db the the b is the b size so it's mid middle of the size a is standard b is a little bit bigger and c is a little bit bigger than that the difference 
in these A, B, and C sizes is just under three tenths of a thou. So between the three sizes, it represents almost a thou of piston the wall clearance differences. It's very small. Um, so very impressed with that as far as uh, offerings from Wozner. Hardly anybody runs these pistons. Um, their website needs a little bit of work, but um, they're getting better and they're be starting to become a pretty popular name in the piston business. Um, I spoke with the sales director, John, in uh, California, and he's a very knowledgeable guy, so I was happy with that. Um, so anyway, that's the gist of it for now. Um, I will be going into a little bit more detail on the carburetor next. The piston and cylinder are going out, and uh, we'll see what happens after that. I'll be following up and uh, getting this back hopefully in about a week, week and a half, and I'll be following up with another video on that. In the meantime, tomorrow I'm doing a carb teardown. Um, going over some known weak areas on the carb, and uh, I hope you guys stay tuned. I appreciate you watching.